Okay, now let's begin our second uh, questions. Uh, I took these questions from our test book, question number 79, which is about the find the equations of a tangent line. Now let's see here, uh, we have, um, we have uh, y is equal to 4x square plus 5x plus 6. 4x square plus 5x plus 6. This is our equation. And what we have to uh, do that, find an equation uh, of the tangent line to the curve at the indicated point. And the indicated point is given here 1 comma 15. That is the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 15. For this, first of all, we have to find out the first derivative that is y prime is equal to 4 to the 8 and x 2 minus 1 is 1, uh, 1 is here by using the power rule plus here is power 1, 5 ones are 5 and x to power 0 is 1, so not need to write here and the derivative of this constant 6 is 0. So, y prime is equal to 8x plus 5. This is the first derivative of the given equations. So, we can uh, rewrite it as y prime that is dy over dx. Okay. Uh, now, we have to test. We have to test the value of this first derivative. We have to test the value of this first derivative 8.1, 8.1 because um, uh, the curve at the indicated point is 1 comma 15. So, um, putting here 1, the value of this y prime is 8 into 1 plus 5 is equal to uh, 13. What does it mean? Or what does it mean the value of 13? Uh, we say the slope uh, of this curve, slope, uh, slope, which is represented by symbolically m is equal to 13 okay um, the slope of this line is 13 now uh, we have to find the equation we have to find the equation of tangent line so uh, for that um, uh, what we need to do we need to do uh, we need to do we need to do um, uh, represent the uh, equation form that is we have uh, equation form y minus y1 is equal to slope m x minus x1 this is the equation form and y minus y1 is uh, y1 we can see here this is uh, x1 and this 15 is y1 okay so y1 is here 15 is equal to slope we found here that is 13 slope is 13 and x minus uh, x1 what is the value of x1 x1 is here we can see x1 is 1 okay so finally the equation when you rearrange the, when you rearrange this equation then you will have y is equal to 13 x uh, plus 2 now, um, what does it mean? Okay. Uh, this is the answer. Obviously, uh, the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 13 plus 3x. This is the equation of tangent. This is the equation of tangent. What does it mean? That means now when we see at a graph, uh, this is x axis positive. Uh, origin value and this is the vertical axis positive when we see uh, might be the parabola big uh, why I said parabola because here the equations degree highest degree is 2 might be the parabola is here might be the parabola is here and the function is fx is equal to 4x square 4x square plus 5x plus 6 this uh, equation uh, represent this parabola 
okay uh, the here is one and now let's say here is 15 here is a point which is 1 comma 15 and we uh, and the line a tangent line is passes through from this tangent line is passes through from this point uh, tangent line mm, tangent line passes through from this one 15 tangent line passes through from this 115 and we have to find out the equation of this tangent line what can be the equation of this tangent line this is the tangent line t a n z e n t tangent line and the equation of this tangent line we found here uh, that is uh, y is equal to 13 plus 2 Done. Now let's see uh, uh, this figure in our uh, GeoGebra. Uh, I have already opened here GeoGebra. First of all, um, first of all, uh, the equation which is given to us is y is equal to 4x, uh, 4 x sorry 4x square 4x square plus 4x square plus 5x plus uh, 5x plus 6 uh, we can see here this is our um, parabola uh, this is our parabola and uh, the first derivative which we have first derivative which we have y prime is equal to 8x plus 5 for the slope first uh, derivative uh, y um, prime y prime is equal to uh, 8x plus 8x plus 5 okay this is the y prime and um, we have a slope 13 we uh, as we calculated before and we already determined the equation of that tangent line now uh, okay now let's remove it here is a coordinate point which is 1 comma 15 first of all now let fix that point 1 comma 15 okay 1 comma 15 here is 1 comma 15 uh, 1 comma 15 now let's value this is 1 comma 15 okay this is the point uh, any point that is 1 comma 15 which is lies in the parabola now what we have to do we have to we have to pass a line y is equal to 13 plus 2x we have to pass a line uh, from 1 comma 15 now let's see this line will pass through 1 comma 15 or not so um, another line we have uh, y is equal to or g is equal to 13x plus 2 okay okay we can see here this line is passes through from 1 comma 15 we can see here uh, we can see here uh, the black line is the black inked line is the parabola uh, okay now let's now let's make it different color mm, different color which color okay red color okay okay mm, when we go closer and closer when we go closer and closer what we can see here closer and closer closer and closer closer and closer closer and closer did we see any mm, closer and closer okay we see here when we go closer and closer mm. okay okay whatever here is a tangent line here is a tangent line it is very uh, mm, this is very very closer asymptote uh, very closer with that the uh, parabola uh, we can 
I think it takes time but we can see here very clearly um, but we can see here very clearly okay uh, okay we can see here very clearly uh, yes from here you can see from here yeah this this line these two two lines okay these two line what is the name of this line blue blue line blue line um, Yeah, what is the name of this blue line? Fx is equal to 13 plus, Fx is equal to 13 plus 2. Okay, this this is the line which we require, and this line in passes through from this tangent point A. Uh, that's all. I hope you understood. Thank you.